Welcome to Music Theory Pre-Grade 1, Week 9. This is brought to you by To Enable. This week we will take a look at intervals and tonic sulfur, covering sulfur notation and definition of intervals. Let's begin our Week 9. Tonic sulfur. Sulfur notation is a technique used for sight singing. So, sulfur notation is mostly used for sight singing, invented for sight singing. It indicates pitch. For example, Do is used as a tonic, which is our one, first degree, first scale degree. And Re, Re is used as our second scale degree. Second scale degree. Let's take a look at examples below. This is sulfur notation on the keyboard, but not for major, but for minor. For example, Do, as we've indicated, 1, Re, 2. And also on the C major, since we are more fo focused or concerned with majors in this particular grade. So this is Do as our first degree. Re as our second degree. Mi as our third degree. Fa fourth degree. So as our fifth. La sixth. T seventh degree. Do again, which is the eighth or the eighth degree tonic sulfur. Let's move on to intervals. The distance in pitch between two notes is called an interval. So the distance between two notes is called interval. Intervals that are within the notes of any octave are called simple intervals. So intervals that are within the notes of any octave are called simple intervals. Intervals that are greater than an octave, greater than an octave, are called compound intervals. We work out intervals by counting the letter names from first note to the last note. Accidentals affect the interval size. Accidentals affect the size of the interval. A sharp will make it greater and the flat will make it smaller. Sharps make our intervals greater. Flats make our intervals smaller. Counting intervals. The first note that we've been given here is a B. Last note is a D. So we count from the first note, B, which is our 1, 2, 3. Therefore, we have an interval of a third look at that again you count from the first note one two three giving you a major third interval what is a major third interval that is our me and here we have a as our first note and we have f as our last note counting from the first note one two three four five six therefore it gives us the interval of six intervals.